So is Neo becoming more and more like Apple? So we know that uh, on the latest version of the ET7, there's the rear screens. I made a video about that. One of you guys commented that one of the fatal mistakes is the fact that it's not removable. Whereas for different other car companies, they have the screens removable. And that really got me thinking, you know, Neo is probably going to come out with a tablet anyways, very, very soon. They already have patents for the smartwatch, uh, so they're going to get that smartwatch rolling. So is Apple, is Neo becoming more like Apple? That's a very interesting question to think about. One very uh, interesting aspect is the fact that a lot of people are very intertwined within the Apple ecosystem. So if you look at William Lee, the CEO, he himself doesn't even use the Neo phone. It's not because he doesn't want to, it's because he's too deep in the Apple ecosystem. And that's the same for a lot of people. For like for me as well, um, my VPN service goes through iOS. And my, so that means I can't access YouTube unless I have uh, an iPhone, uh, at least reliably, all right? And also, for example, uh, AirDrop is a big important part of my editing process. It's, it's, yeah, I'm deep in the Apple ecosystem as well, so it's very hard for me to switch to an, uh, to a new phone. But what's also really interesting is the fact that perhaps the smartwatch, you know, that's something that's more accessible. Uh, and I think a lot more people will be willing to buy that as a key. And me, myself as well, if they came out with a smartwatch that can serve as a key for the car, I would definitely buy one right away. That would be a fantastic purchase. But the other aspect of, of it is um, you're trying to be like Apple, but do you really have the funds, right? Uh, you're trying to self-develop chips, which is fantastic. It's great for cars, but... Is it really uh, going to help your company that much if you're, you know, also making smartwatches and also making uh, all this other stuff, tablets, etc., and phones? So we've seen Neo recently really uh, cut jobs in the smartphone department, and also just cut jobs in general, and they shift their focus to everything has that they do has to benefit the balance sheet within the two to three year time frame so it has to really help and add to it and not take away from it so they have to show results within the next two to three years so i'm really wondering if they're still going to go ahead with the smartphone uh with the smartwatch and the um tablet because with the with the smartphone we know there's at least going to be three generations of the smartphone at least does that mean that there won't be a fourth gen, uh, fourth gen smartphone, neophone? Could be very interesting to think about. And I certainly do still hope that they push forward with the smartwatch and make a very nice key that uh, customers can purchase, that I can purchase. I would love to purchase that as a as a key for my car. But one of the important things that we gotta address is the losses, right? Neo is losing so much money, 700 million per quarter in terms of R&D expenses as well. So it is it is quite a staggering amount. And as an investor, you would wonder, if, is it really necessary to focus on that? Wouldn't it be more um, better to just focus more on the cars, make better, cheaper cars with, you know, sell more cars basically i think neil's logic behind this is more to enhance the 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 the, the productness of the uh, car the competitiveness of the car the whole idea of the phone was to have that connective uh connective ability to really make the car much better because you have a neo phone you're going to have a lot more features that you can do with the car so I think from that aspect, yeah, it makes sense. But I, I think Neo is just losing way too much money to be just distracted by these little things. They really got to get that sub-brand out, sub-sub-brand out as well, and just really try to deliver as many cars as they can. Also, something that I've noticed, just sitting in the showroom cars, it is super hot inside here. I think that would be a great suggestion to Neo. I mean, at least keep the cars cool so that when customers sit in it, it's not like a sauna. I mean, like sitting here, it's just super, super hot. 
I mean, uh, I, I understand they might not be able to turn on the AC the whole entire time. That would be really power consuming. But yeah, it's not a pleasant experience to sit in this car. And just looking at uh, some of the customers that came in here, when they came in, when they sat in the car for less than 10 seconds and they got out. I can guarantee you that has something to do with the car being too hot. Yeah, I'm in here and I'm sweating like a pig, guys. Just crazy. I fully understand uh, the, the potential Neo has and I fully believe that in the future we're going to be a trillion dollar company. $650 a share, $600, all right? But to get there, yes, you know, Neo's going to have a huge ecosystem. It goes from battery swap to Neo Life to the cars to other high tech devices like smartphones, smartwatches, tablets, etc. They're going to be like China's Apple, essentially, yes. But for now, you know, uh, we are in a treacherous spot. You know, stock price under $4 a share. Investor enthusiasm, uh, sentiment really not there. So uh, really hope that they can really pump up the numbers, get some more investor confidence. So best way to be doing that would be to launch the Envo sub-brand as fast as they can. Right now, the cars, you know, Neo's cars, you know, well, going back to the fact that the screens were not removable, this is one of the things, I mean, that that's not a big deal for me. I just wish that they had that option for all the vehicles to be able to buy the screen. Like on the ES8, that car is more expensive than the ET7, but you cannot choose the rear screens even if you wanted to pay an egg, a leg or an arm for it. It's not, just not possible. So I wish they really mitigated mistakes like these. Also, uh you know neil was very adamant about not launching single motor variant non-lidar variant of the cars i mean like come on just give the customers what they want well they did with the sub brand so that's why the sub brand is really going to turn things around if you're a new investor neo stock seems to have bottom uh they might go down further but i believe it has bottom but i the envelope sub brand is really going to turn things around all right so pay attention to that neo is going to become the future its name Neo in Chinese is Weilai, which sounds like future. It's basically the future. So still believe in the future of Neo. They are losing a lot of money developing all these stuff that may not sell that well. But I believe that they are going to turn things around. We're just going through a dark period. So hang in there, hang in there in the future. I think Envo is going to be the, the killer product, right? Envo is going to be the killer product like the iPhone moment was for Apple. So We'll have to wait and see how that's like. Personally, what do you guys think about building all these smart gadgets, smart watches, tablets, phones? Is it a waste of money or do you think there's something really good about it? Because from what I heard, all most Gen 2 Neo owners have that phone, all right? They have the Neo phone and they really like it. And, you know, it has a lot of functionality. So it's a great product. So, yeah, but what do you guys think? Do you guys think it's a waste of money? Should they just focus on selling cars? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Peace out.